Hello there, and welcome to episode 349 of this series where I play the regions of Europe one by one on Geocacher, doing so in a tennis match format as outlined in the rules you just saw, meaning that in order for me to score points from my imaginary opponent, which I refer to as the game, I have to play rounds of 5,000 points on Geoguessr, and to do so within the time limits I've put upon myself, which are 6 minutes per individual round, 30 minutes per, per game of 5 rounds, but every time I play a 5,000 point round, I knock 2 minutes off the total game time available to me. And also, if I finish the previous episode on a 5,000 point round, I knock 2 minutes off the total game time in the next episode. That was the case in Portugal yesterday, so today i got 28 minutes on the clock. I'm leading the game 1-0 in sets in the current match. I'm 1-0 up in the second set, but I'm trailing 15-30 in the current game. And today we are heading into a country we haven't been to for a very long time, and that is Slovakia. And we are moving into the bansko bistritski Krai, or county of bansko bistrica and um, we have 614,000 people living here, and we've got almost 9,500 square kilometers to play around with. And the capital of the area is the city of Banska Bistrica. And, uh, well, do I know anything about this place? No, I've never been here either. Well, the only time I've been in Slovakia was on an interrail. When I came like through like so, and through from Hungary into Korsitz, and then went sort of the roundabout route into Trenčín and Bratislava. So I was never in Banska Bystrica, but I think this is a nice forested and mountainous area. So and the scenery might be nice, at least, even if we get hopelessly lost, which we have plenty of locations to do so in so let's let's just see what we wind up with uh, so okay good scores in short times these are obviously locals or slovaks at least the others i don't guess not so much so let's see how this non-natives and, and uh, non-slovak what i might do Okay, uh, reconstructed for some reason, vlanat.com. Okay. So what is the significance of this building then? Um, we're in a town and that much is certain. And... Metzki Urad. Urad, Modri Kamen, Matrichni Urad. There's another Urad going on here. Malikritish. Let's have a look down here. We got Velki Kritish. Then the other one, Mali, should be somewhere around nearby. That's Mali Kartish. Is this where we are? The thing, though, oh, never mind the thing. Uh, southwest. If this is indeed where we are. Uh, well, I'm a little doubtful about that. We could well be in Valley Kirtish. What is this here? Yarmochna. Let's see, let's say that we're over here instead. That does not. I might have been led astray here. So we got on the Armochna and Marianska Namestia. Okay, I've been spending too much time here. Tersnitsa. 
This is obviously a main road Some going somewhere. I thought this was a sign, but probably didn't. And now we're leaving town, let's see. Hasichki Sakhrani Zbur, okay. What is the name of the place we're leaving? We haven't left it yet, so that's a thing. School. Please let this school be on the outskirts of town. Oh no, doesn't this place come with a name? Come on. Gimme. Gimme. Modri. Ah, Modri Common. And now we're coming into. Okay, so we're up here. That's the Yamochna. Yamochna. And uh, let's see, let's put the market down there just for now. So. Yeah, so we were coming down from the northwest. That suggests we were up here somewhere. And then we arrive at Svolenska. Oh, no, that's the one we're on. Ugh. And the Yarmuchka and the Marianska. So I wonder, are we here now? That would make sense. Yeah, that must be the Uzga, and it's Glena, and it's Kolska, yep. And uh, what does it say to Marianne? That can't be right. So, um, so this must be, this must be here. I'm just going to confirm that by having Yes. Yes, that seems reasonable. Let's see. Yeah, there's a building jutting out of the back there. Yeah, this has uh, got to be right. Yep. Spent a lot of time confirming that, but good. 30-30. 26 minutes on the clock. Right, outskirts of something. A village by the name of. Uhorskia. Uhorskia. Seems to be well rural. We got the hills around Ohorskia. Do we have any? Signs telling us where we're going, except that we go northwest. Okay, so Horskia is not a metropolis. Although it does seem to have a little more to it. Yeah, there are some bits and pieces on the other side of the fields here of the settlement. Crossing a river. I thought I saw a village up ahead, but I guess I was wrong. Very much so. This could be a bad one. This could be very bad indeed. 
intersection. Karna Ratista. Hmm. Ratista. Karna. Okay, one kilometer to Ratista. Seems to be the main road. Oh, here we got something coming up. All right. Could be a slightly larger place than Uhorskia or what the name was. So now in Hradishta. Which still doesn't help me much. And now we got a conundrum. No, that was not the way I was going to go. I wanted to go. Oh, it's not an option. That's not good. And we have to go the other way. Not that we have to, but... Oh, and I didn't like that sign. I didn't read it, but... That suggests we're going to be in the wilds for a while. It was a quick glimpse of a sign with a deer on it. Well, that could well mean that we will be out here for some time. And we're not on the numbered road. Oh, coming up in the church. Well, there's a church, there's usually some more civilization, unless they're in Norway. Uh, Rovniani. That seems to be a larger place. Latkien Potlar. Latki Potlar and... Let's see. and Potlar. And that's... Oh, was it Poltar? Sorry, it was Poltar. And Poltar is to the east. Yes, Worsk. Yeah, let's see. Um, let's see if we can get this done. This must be that intersection, which we are a little... Uh, don't be too sure about that. Well, yeah, it's got to be the... It's got to be the intersection we're at. Let's see. Can we... Uh, it's got to be in there, isn't it? There's a big barn over there. This thing, northwest. Well, we are pretty much where this bend ends. Let's say we're about there. Yep, <laughs> that was a nervous one. 40 30, 24 minutes on the clock. Spent a long time on that, but got it in time. Okay. Okay, so we are probably, let's say, in Banska Bistritsa. Given the layout of the place. <coughs> I don't think Obchodne is the name of a place. It's probably more a center of something. So... Let's see. Yeah. Increasingly confident that this is Banska Bistritsa. Increasingly unconfident. About where in Banska Bistritsa we might be. This would be really weird if it wasn't in Banska Bistritsa. Okay, I need... 
So we're mucking about in some commercial area. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> Zvall and, and Centrum, okay. So Zvolen would be off to the west. Okay, well, that doesn't mean anything. We can actually be here on the R1. Oh, the 65. Uh, we just need now to find... Let's see, so here we got... Here we're heading slightly north. Oh, that's the east. Yeah. Let's see. So we could... No, probably not there. There's a number of places we could be. Now let's see, Santa Clave. Sevt. They run trolley buses here. Alaska. Here we got something. Let's see. I'm going to Bresno and to the center by going north e northeast. Okay. Here we go. So we're essentially going north here. Are we a little too certain about being in Banska Bistritsa. This oh, let's have a look at this. This is yes. So now we're looking north, we're on the R1 E77. Okay, good. So that probably means that we were down here. Yeah, that works as a shift. Now let's see. We were outside. Oh, we were somewhere here, weren't we? Let's plonk it there for now. Okay, so. We got a Luna, and then we went eastwards. Yeah, so yeah, then we're going down here. And we were not on the Sardova, which is the one going in here. So we must have been over here somewhere. Let's see. That seems to work very well, doesn't it? So if I say that we are about there. That seems to be about right. Yep. Now the game point to me, 2-0, 22 minutes on the clock, time is going to be an issue here. Okay, so we've got a city over there, and apparently nothing over there, oh, oh goodness me, this one is going to be hard. I don't think I'll spend much time figuring out where I am, but Pinning it is going to be an issue. So we're running next to the railroad, going northwest, coming from the southeast, and we are heading towards a town called Helpa. Hmm. Okay, and it seems to be a fairly decent sized place. So we should be able to see Helpa here somewhere. We also got that railroad. Oh. 
But as always, things aren't quite as oh, has help helper. Uh, has a railroad. So right now we're standing about here. And then we need to figure out where on earth are we? Let's see, so there's one right-hander and two right-handers in a row. I think that means we're likely to be down here. A right-hander and a left-hander. And a right-hander. And we're coming into town. Left-hander, right-hander. So, yeah, we are definitely down here somewhere. Um, 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 um. Road is gently sleep, sloping that way, yeah. Well, it's sloping, but it's gently turning. Okay. I think we're about here. Thing is that the road doesn't count a curve that I can't really account for. But whether that is accurate or not is another thing. But yes, it does do that curvy thing, and we are not quite on the bend here, so. I'm gonna go with that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 20 minutes on the clock. Which we will probably be over quite soon. Oh my word. Oh, yeah. oh, it's gonna be a forfeit. That's easy to tell. Now, we slowed right down. And I have a feeling that this was the wrong way to go. Although it's hard to say which will be the right way when you are out in the countryside. And there actually seems to be something coming up over here. Is it just a lone farm? Or the beginning of a village? Here we go. Might even be a town. Let's see. Ooh, that's nice and green. Yeah, and we are about to forfeit this round, unfortunately. Okay, so we have been going north, northwest, so I think. Lipovane, Chaspania. And time is out. Pressing on nonetheless. I would like to know the name of this place. I'm sure we'll find an indication of that as soon as we come through it. Going uphill. There we go. Okay, so this is Lipovani. Okay, what can we go to from Lipovani? We go to a place called Muchin Telka Lipovani and Mul sorry Lipovani and Muchin. Well, we won't see those. So I know that Nad means by the or Ponda. Just that's a new one to me. So I want Muchin, that's Hutsin. <laughs> Muchin and Lipovani. Doesn't seem like we'll get them at this level of zoom. Which means that we'll search along this road for a little more. 
goes straight north ish. So this is Mu Chin. To the roads in Mu Chin lay there when they were. Nope, none of that. So now we're leaving Mu Chin. Some fields over there. Hmm. And now we're coming into more with Murchin. Okay. Vita Vas orbits Murchin. Didn't we just enter Mochin? Lipovani and to Plesh. Uh, this is going to be one of those, isn't it? We got names, but we don't have a location. Well, we don't have the major crossroad I so crave. And now leaving Mochin. Okay, nothing for it. I'll keep exploring the Slovak countryside. Hmm. Which appears to be in spring. And this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much longer we will longer we will persist with this before I start scouring the map instead. No, this is just a bust, a bus stop. Nothing that I can use. Well maintained and tended fields. So at least it's not an area that people are flocking to get away from, it seems. Which is a good thing. Which isn't a good thing is that we haven't seen a sign welcoming us to whatever community this is yet. Here we go. This is Rapovtsa, aka Rap. Now, this has the making of a proper place, and we can go to Filakova Lucenets. Let's go closer up into the Intersections here. Kalanda on the five ninety four. Finally, something a road number on the five ninety four. I just want to get a feel of the size of this place. I 
Okay, so it's not huge, but it's big enough. Rapovca. And the 594 we saw. So there's a 526. A 595. Can we find a 94 from just like that? Let's pull it down again. 25, 26, 26. Well, that's curious. 26. Stay within the thingy. Oh, strange that all the roads are in the five. Oh, there's another 590 road. So we got the 91, we got 85, we got 95. And what do we want is a 94. Okay, can we see any other names? No. Like a reporter. I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Here's the reporter. It's Mujan is Lipovani. Oh, we were right down on the border. Let's see, so we. I think, I believe we were somewhere down there. There's a road going off to the side here to Farmstead. That road. It's not that one. Okay, so let's see. Let's have a look down this way. Right, we are just just about this bus stop, so on this road here has got to be this one. I'm gonna place myself there. Good. 25k, but unfortunately a rather long last round. Brings us at 1550. Dean. But yeah, it's been a while since we, been a long time since we last were in Slovakia, and uh, this one, it was a fairly comfortable ride. Uh, shame I dropped the last round, but that's what you get at times. So, so yeah, quite happy with uh, with Pansko uh, Bystrytski Kraj. And that is episode 349 then. Please check in the bar for episode 350. Until then, bye-bye.